Processing is now being recorded. Processing Tech Tuesday course. This is specific to versions 2012. My name is Debbie Champagne. I'm the product specialist for DACEasy. And let's touch on the agenda today. We're going to talk about Sage Payment Solutions, Sage Exchange, run through the setup requirements to use uh, Sage Exchange in accounting, order entry, and point of sale, show you some processing of transactions, and we'll touch on the virtual terminal and how to sign up for future Tech Tuesday courses. So Sage Payment Solutions. Uh, Part of Sage, and it offers a complete credit card solution called Sage Exchange. Sage DAC Easy integrates with Sage Exchange. It is a payment application data security standard uh, with a certified payment platform. When you initiate a credit card payment, Sage DAC Easy makes a seamless call to Sage Exchange where all aspects of the processing of the credit card occurs. This includes the transmission and storage of credit card data. DACEasy does not process or transmit credit card data. So the first step in utilizing uh, credit cards in DACEasy is you must contact Sage Payment Solutions and acquire a merchant account. The number is listed here. Uh, you can also go on their website at na.sage.com slash Sage Payment Solutions, and there's a, some live chat options, call directly, or even get a, set up a quote. Um, DACEasy does only integrate with Sage Exchange to process credit cards in accounting, order entry, and point of sale. So let's t begin with accounting. Uh, credit card processing in accounting um, is new, beginning with version 2012. First step after acquiring the merchant account from Sage Payment, accessing edit tables, methods of payment. Here you enter your credit card type, um, reference any specific accounts, and you need to check verify online. Second step in accounting is accessing edit default system preferences. There's a new online processing tab, and here you will check online credit card verification as well, enter your merchant ID and merchant key. So once those two conditions are met under method of payment and the third will be the install. Sage Exchange is part of the DAC Easy, the overall DAC Easy installation. However, will not install until you've met those two conditions we just touched on in the prior screens. And once those conditions are met and you access either billing invoices or cash in accounting or process order entry or in the sales register, you will then be prompted with the Sage Exchange installation message. And you'll just select yes. It's a quick install. Um, at the end, you'll notice the your Windows Task Manager will have a Sage Exchange icon at the bottom. And at that point, you can also right-click on it. You can exit it. You can update it. You can check different settings as well as the version. So let's begin with processing credit cards and use it, uh, through the billing invoice when somebody pays, makes a payment on a billing invoice screen. Uh, customers can pay their invoices now with a credit card. When you've entered a method of payment, that references a credit card, such as Visa, and you filled in the payment amount and hit OK, that brings up or launches the Sage Exchange. And this is where Sage Exchange takes over for the credit card processing. You'll insert the credit card number, or they, you can use a swiper that Sage Payment Solutions makes available. Um, all the normal things, such as Expiration date, CVV. Uh, at that point, you would enter or click on Next. Enter a name, and you select Submit. At that point, the invoice is saved. If you recall, bring the invoice back to the screen. Let me go back a couple. It will be 
an approval code and um, automatically placed here. And at that point, you can um, also view the credit, uh, some information regarding the credit card transaction on a new credit card report. The check reconciliation is updated. You can also edit your invoice to include items that will show, such as the credit card approval code, method of payment, credit card amount, the cardholder name, and the credit card number that's masked, and it will show the last four digits. So those are all optional, and those need to be added if you want to at edit defaults form setup. Next, we move to the cash receipt screen. All in, and you can go into the cash receipt screen to receive payment. On this screen, you'll see we need to have method of payment reference that is a credit card. Well, you put in the amount under applied, and the Sage Exchange is automatically launched where you. Um, you may wish to. Just the point with the cash um, transactions, you can edit the deposit number um, or even put in a check number. In this case, I use Visa 06, for example. Annually edit the deposit number by selecting Edit, and that will keep a void from a multi-deposit naming convention in the reconciliation if you use cash reconciliation. Um, you can also edit the cash receipt template, again, under Edit Defaults form set up to add credit card and method of payment variables if you use that out for your customers. You can also process voids and returns using Sage Exchange and DacEasy. One way is to recall the invoice. You'll notice that it has been approved. The approval code is at the bottom. Um, it is an unposted transaction, so if I select to delete it, this message comes up, the credit card was previous verified online. Do you wish to avoid within Sage Exchange? You click yes. And other options you could do, you could create an invoice and enter a negative quantity, or you could create a sales return and credit with a cash payment. Those are just some options in doing a return of void. Now we'll move on to order entry, and the requirements are very similar. Um, you need a merchant ID and key. Uh, method of payment needs to be uh, selected for verify online as well as in the system preference screen. There's just shot here. Edit default system preferences. You'll select online credit card verification. There's an online. On the method of payment, again, you would enter, click Verify Online and enter your merchant information. Then an order entry, and in the footer of the order, you enter the verifiable credit card payment in the lower left under method of payment, and you put in an amount in the payment field, and that initiates Sage Exchange. Point of sale are very similar. Again, merchant ID, method of payment. Um, credit card is when the payment's made. Here's an example of a receipt. It's been edited to approval code at the bottom. Page Payment Solutions offers a virtual terminal, internet-based solution which requires no installation, friendly interface that allows you to get information. There's some reporting in there. You can process credit cards, do returns, white cards. You have full control within the terminal provided to you once you have your merchant information of the website address below. Please go to sageu.com slash and you'll get a couple upcoming Sage Tech Easy Tech Tuesday.